Um, so one could talk for hours about randomized controlled trials, but one doesn't want to really. <laughs> but um, they're, basically, they're deemed to be the, it's the only acceptable way to test efficacy of a study or of, a, of an intervention. That's the key thing. But it's probably the most complicated study design. It's, it's, it's probably the most difficult and the expensive study design to conduct if, if you do a, a major randomized controlled trials. And the medical control trials can be, you know, they are a million dollars or whatever, you know, they're the big studies, not that that sort of comes into physiotherapy very much. But the we talked about internal and external validity. And the key thing about RCTs is the internal validity. The external validity is important as well. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But the internal validity, which is basically the the robustness of the methods uh, of the design, which therefore allows you to trust the outcomes. And that's why it's got all those bits to it. So for instance, uh, the randomization is to um, reduce any selection bias. Um, that there shouldn't be any way that anybody can tamper with who is who is being randomized to which treatment. So there shouldn't be any interference with that process. So that's why it should be as independent as possible. Um, the the control group, obviously, we talked about natural history already. You've got to have, uh, if, if you simply treat a group uh, and they improve, well, they could have improved because of treatment, but they could have Im improved because of natural history. So we have to have a control group. The other element of that is there are these things called confounders which when confounders are things that we don't know about, basically, but could affect the outcome. And so the idea with randomization is there might be hidden or unknown prognostic variables, but if we randomize people into the two groups, then we're hoping that those confounding factors, whatever they might be, are equal in the two groups. So it's taking care of unknown variables, if you like. There's always a big, and if you look at the... Uh, ways for assessing randomized controlled trials. B blinding is always very big. There's always a big push for blinding, by which we mean, it. so that's to reduce ascertainment bias, by which we're, um, the idea is that patients, therapists, and assessors shouldn't know to which treatment a person belongs. Now, that's all very well, obviously, if you have a drug trial, it's very easy to have an active and placebo intervention drug which looks exactly the same, tastes exactly the same. Nobody needs to know apart from the person who unlocks the secret coding at the end. But obviously, in a physiotherapy trial, you can't do that. Um, and on the whole, the patient is going to know and the therapist is going to know what intervention um, is, is happening.